Reference is more powerful when your accountant, sales team and all other team members are on your account. It makes it easy for you to collaborate, track team's activity and saves you so much time and effort from sending documents and report manually to each other. Before adding a new user, you first need to decide what level of access they'll have in your reference account. For example, your sales team members will have access to their own leads but not others. Similarly, your accountant only have access to view accounting documents and reports but not edit them. To view all the roles and their respective access to reference features, go to Manage Team. Under that, select Manage Team Roles and go to Roles and Permissions. Here, you will find references created default four roles with different permission. For example, the manager here does not have the permission to view or edit invoices, but the accountant has the access to do the same. You can update these permissions from here. In case the default roles and permissions are not suited to your needs, you can also create new roles with customized permissions from here. Just add the role name and the permission you wish to provide to do that role. For example, I am creating a new role of admin staff with following permissions. Here, I want the admin staff to create invoices but have access to only those invoices that he created and not the other invoices. So, I will mark it as self, which means the admin staff will have access to only his invoices and no one else's. Now, once all the roles and their respective permissions have been decided, we will add a new user to our account. To add a new user, first go to Manage Team and click on Manage User. Here, select Add New User, Add Name, Email and Business Roles from the drop-down. Once the form is filled, click on Send Invite. A link will be sent to the invited user over email to join. That's it. Adding and managing various roles with reference is that easy. See you in the next video.